Hey there and welcome back to another video. Now today I have some very exciting news for you. You can see the Steel Queen here and if we go inside it you won't see a difference except there's a new entering animation. There are also climbing animations for all the ladders and the upgrades are now displayed on your Cyclops. There are also fire extinguishers everywhere, which you can take and put back. And the most important part, you see some differences here. These are now orange, and now it's off, and this as well. And this was updated as well. Now what's this? This shows you dangerous creatures, so apparently there's a bone shark there. And as you can see it attacks the Cyclops. Yes, creatures will now attack the Cyclops. We also have a small compass right here. And there's supposed to be a 3D image of Cyclops here. I'm gonna put in the picture of how it looks like. Some damage reports and some fires on there. This is where it's gonna be displayed, so you know where you have to go to extinguish the fire. And now let's just see what happens if we mount it. As you can see, you have some new stuff. First of all, here we have your health and the sound you make when you drive. And here you have upgrades like, for example, the cameras. There's different modes here. Now this is the standard mode, this is the slow mode. Ah, it's slow. And as you can see, the sound level decreases. So if we now drive, we won't make as much sound. This is the ultra silent sound mode. Rig for silent running. We will make almost no sound now, but the Cyclops is extremely slow and extremely red. And just to demonstrate you how slow it actually is. This is slower than you swimming, so yeah, pretty slow. And I have never noticed this animation for the Cyclops, I don't know if that's new, but I think it is. It also has new animations for going up and down. If you turn on or off the lights, it will automatically switch to the normal mode. I hit slow. There's also the fast mode. I hit flanked emergency speed. And I personally love this speed, but you're gonna make a lot of noise. Warning, now, what happens if we go into survival and let them attack us? Let's find out. Warning, attack. That was faster than expected, so here's the damage. Now, nothing too major has happened, but you can already see that we lost a good amount of our health. So, how can you prevent that from happening? There are new upgrades which you can make in the modification station. You still have the ultra reinforcement module, which just increases the depth. Then there's the sona module, which does the same as the Seamoth sona. The shield and the Seamoth repair module which seems to automatically repair your Seamoth. But let's equip all of them anyways, and you can see they appear here. And at the front, we now have some more options. Here, this is the Sona. We can activate the shield. We don't receive any more damage. That's of course because we have activated the shields. As you can see, it says fire detected, and there we have it. So we just need to get past it. Never mind, we don't have a fire extinguisher here. And use it like any other fire extinguisher. We just have to be quick. And you can see there's a lot of stuff going on. And we need to extinguish the fire because we are taking damage while there's fog in here. What do you do if there's a lot of bone sharks attacking you and your Cyclops is almost dead? Well, you can grab your welder and repair the breaches on the outside. And if your Cyclops health gets too low, you have 10 seconds to escape. And if you don't escape by that time, your Cyclops is gonna explode. And of course, the voice had to ruin it. Of course. A wreck will be spawned where your Cyclops used to be and it will keep its name, but not the color, just the name color. You can enter your Cyclops from the front and deconstruct all the things you had in there.
You can even open your lockers. This picture of the Sea Emperor was also released on Trello lately. This is supposed to be the animation where the Sea Emperor first inspects you after you enter the aquarium. And this is the first picture we see of a fully sized Sea Emperor. I don't know about you, but I think it looks amazing. Tell me what you think in the comments below. This is already it. I hope you enjoyed it anyways. And as always, I'll see you later. Bye!